Hello, Richard Andy, it's Alistair from Faithworks. Uh, I've been energised over the last few months by how Jesus' followers in BCP can respond to the desperation in so many people's lives. There's a real yearning for hope in so many areas. There's that people want material hope. Where can I find food? Where can I find housing? How can I make ends meet? Um, they're yearning for relational hope. People need people and they, where can I find a community that knows my name or where I can belong? And actually they are yearning for spiritual hope. Um, we're, we're, we're seeing so many coming to food settings and to housing and homelessness stuff with a real anxiety. Do I have any value? Is that it? They want to talk. And I'm also reminded at the same time about the 110 hours principle, you know, the thing like when we're not asleep, when we're not in church, all those other hours and how do we make best use of them for the kingdom? Because there's some really good community stuff going on. Uh, we're trying to map all that as Faithworks to give us a bit of an understanding. And you know that we've been over the past year pulling together learning from the We're Here network. So a group of churches we're working with, helping them to be the best they possibly can at opening their doors during that 110 hours. So we've got some addiction awareness training coming up in the next weeks. We're sharing some stories of what's really working. Um, but we've got some learning across the different areas. And uh, for example, it's really helpful when people have a local knowledge pack so that they don't have to start from scratch on so that if people ask a question, they're not scurrying around trying to find the information. It is really good when people are not only serving nice food and cake and stuff like that, but there are some volunteers who are set aside to chat, to listen, to help people feel that this is a place where they belong. And we've also seen a bit of a lack of confidence in praying for people and in telling them about the person who we're praying to. Um, it's interesting, we, we, I've been reading a book recently called uh, How to Connect Social Action and Face Sharing. This is by Andy Frost, who works for Share Jesus International. And in here, he talks about an oath of integral mission. That idea of when Jesus met the, the, the man with leprosy, he touched him, there was relationship, he healed him, there was a physical change, and he actually encouraged him to go and reconnect with his spiritual community. He was, if you like, yeah, also forgiving giving you sins. So all three of that, integral mission, as Andy describes, and he talks about, I know, seven points uh, to go about how to go about mission in a way that means we don't just help like social services, but actually we are bringing all that God wants to bring for an individual, life in all its fullness. Um, I've also been reminded recently of a quote from uh, a local authority leader up north who said to the local churches, it's great that you do laudable community activities, but it'd be even better if you had strategic community impact. And that's, uh, on the one hand, we have uh, the best carer and toddler network anywhere in this, uh, provided by churches more than anybody else. What an opportunity. On the other side of that, when we were trying recently to respond to a council need to say, hey, all these families in emergency bed and breakfast could really do with somewhere after school to go to have some space, to do homework, just to have a bit of food. It's nothing, it's almost nothing in the church's network. And we don't have the resources to do that because we're doing other things. So my question is, can we have a conversation? Let's start, let's call it that, a conversation in the summer at Morelands, Andy, we've talked a bit about this, where we get together some church leaders and some minist compassion ministry leaders maybe with the students and start asking a few questions like, what, what works in terms of integral mission uh, and impact, not just socially, but spiritually as well? What could the strategic, our strategic impact as the church in BCP look like? I mean, it may be, for example, that we're super joined up within a hyper-local area so that on Monday X is happening, on Tuesday Y is happening, but not all in the same place. What would that look like? Could we all go for that oath of in integral mission? And what first steps would help with this in terms of maybe experiments under God in different areas? I wanted to place that before you and say, if you are able to give to give a thumbs up for that and maybe to talk with others within your uh, network then it would be really good to maybe get a date in the diary and start inviting people to that and we can work up what the questions would be 
So do come back to me and uh, let's pray that God will use us even more in the 110 hours. Bless you.